Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One in my old barn door, and I have another booth opening today. Um, this booth is for Miss Chandra Pate. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. It's Chandra or Chandra. I know people say them differently. So, anyways, um, if you like this journal, once I show you the journal, I will post it in a listing on my Facebook page. It's called My Old Barn Door. I'll link it below. If you like it, run over, comment on the post, sold, and then email your address and your PayPal email address to me, and I'll get you invoice so I can get your journal to you. And I'll leave my email address in the box below as well. So that's kind of how that works. And then Miss Chandra sent me this sweet little package here. Let me see if I can pull this out. I'm just going to take the little rubber band off. I love the way she rubber banded the pretty little ribbon on it. Thank you so much, Chandra. This is so sweet of you to share with me. I have a little note here. What a pretty little card. Can you guys see that? It's gorgeous. Let me see. Hang on, guys. Okay, so she says, Dear Diane, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to share and make my crafts to sell. I've had so much fun making this journal. I have some goodies to share with you. I sent you some white olive fabric, floral fabric, cream lace, green trim. You said you liked the piece I sent you. Yes, I do. I love this. And then the book pages are from a 1928 cookbook. Lovely. I'm so excited to see. So, yes, I absolutely love this trim. Um, and so she sent me some more. She had sent me a wonderful, wonderful Happy Mail package not too long ago. And then let's see. Oh, I love these sweet book pages from a 1928 cookbook. How wonderful are these? Super sweet. I could see making sweet little tags out of these because they're fragile. So you would have to, you know, do something where you could collage with them. But absolutely beautiful. I love those. And I'm so excited. Look at this. I'm going to scoot her pretty little journal over. You guys are going to love it. Look at this pretty eyelet trim she sent me. Or fabric. It's like little fabric pieces. I love it so much. It's off of, um, it's the same thing she used on the journal. Look how pretty the little ruffle is. Oh, I love these so much. Thank you for sharing with me, Chandra. I appreciate it. And then look at this. Oh, my goodness. How pretty is this? I love that. That is absolutely gorgeous. I could totally see this as a book page in a journal. And then look, she sent me some beautiful, beautiful lace. It's like a cream color lace. Isn't that gorgeous? And she sent me so much. This is like double folded. So that's a bunch. Thank you so much, doll. And then look, oh my goodness, I am in love with this. Would this make a beautiful journal cover or what? Isn't that wonderful? Oh, thank you so much, Chandra, for sharing with me. I love this. This is beautiful. All of it is beautiful. Thank you so much. I love it. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to scoot these to the side so that I can show you this gorgeous, gorgeous journal she has sent me. You guys are going to love this journal. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you. So you can see it well. Maybe that's a little too far. Okay. Let me see. Okay, I think we're good. All right. So she's put, sent this beautiful, beautiful journal. It's got this beautiful pink bow, like an organza bow tied around it. But I'm going to go ahead and take that off so that you can see the absolute loveliness of this cover. So it's um, it's like a um, semi-hard cover. I think it's a chipboard cover. Look how beautiful. She's got some of that pretty pink um, cheesecloth. And then she's got all these sweet little decorations around it. Sweet little piece of lace underneath there. She's just collaged a beautiful little collage onto this journal. And then this gorgeous little handmade flower that she's made with the little bead in the center. Sweet little bird there. And she's got some stitching. And I think... I don't think that's a pocket. 
and then look at the gorgeous lace she has down the side and then can you see the beautiful little dangle that she's put on there sweet little beaded dangle and then I'll show you the spine that's the spine and then this is the back of the cover and she's also added some of that gorgeous lace on the back and I love how this hangs over um, like the cover in that pretty house gap with the scalloped edge okay so let's go in and see all the goodness all right so the name of this journal is called bloom it is eight by six and a half and I think it says 112 pages. I'm not positive. I'll let y'all see that. Um, and it's got two signatures. Sweet little um, uh, stationery there that she's got that on. And then I believe this is a note for the buyer. So whoever gets this, she's put you a wonderful little note in here um, to share with you. So that will stay inside the journal. And then look at the front cover. I love this pretty pink sparkly paper. And she's got this gorgeous, gorgeous collage over here. I'm going to hold it up so you can see it. Isn't that beautiful? I love your collaging, Chandra. It's gorgeous. And she has an altar paper clip here and inside or tucked into the paper clip. She has this pretty little altered envelope. In this gorgeous, she's collaged this beautiful paper with a pretty little ribbon and bow here. And then she's collaged the back flap of the envelope. And she's tucked in a sweet little journaling card. I love this. What a sweet idea. She did like a fabric tip in on an index card. So you have journaling space underneath the fabric tip in. With a cute little tag there. So I love that. Beautiful papers she's used in the journal. Make sure you guys can see well. And then here. Oops. I missed a page we have some stamping and I believe this is um, inked paper and then she's got this cute little flap here that she's washed in I love that that's adorable and I love this old calendar page with the beautiful little rose on it I love the perforated edges and she's got a sweet little collage there can y'all see that sweet little collage there with fabric and a cute little cabochon button flower cabochon and then she has the lace edging on the edges of the papers and then she's put sweet little dangles off of the lace let me see if i can fix this the way it's supposed to be so that you can see it. how cute is that can you see that she's got some beautiful collaging on here with some stitching i love your collage work and i believe this is a pocket let me see yes that is a pocket so you have a little pocket there beautiful papers that she's used in here and I love this look she's she's done the collage page collage page <laughs> with a little Tim Holtz sticker here I love this this is gorgeous you have some lines paper beautiful um, scrapbooking paper I don't know if this is scrapbooking paper or printable I'm not real sure which and then she's got a gorgeous little embellishment here at the corner. Some beautiful stamping on coffee dyed paper. Sweet little lace belly band here. And inside the belly band, she's made you some cute little tags topped with sari silk. Silk. And a sweet little journaling card topped with that gorgeous, gorgeous lace. And then look at this. Hang on. Let me get these tucked back in here. Look at her beautiful ruffle. On the edge of the page I love this fabric that she used sweet little pocket here topped with some lace and she's got a couple of little journaling cards tucked in the pocket for you Winnie the Pooh book I love this or a book page look Pooh's little face sticking out and then this is vellum that she's added some butterfly stickers to I love that and then look at this this is a beautiful beautiful doily and she's taking a tag and embellished the doily and not only does it embellish it it makes it a little stronger beautiful coffee dyeing lovely lovely collage work on her tag I love that children's book page oh it's a Dick and Jane pocket or page is it a pocket or a page it's a page and then I love how she did this she did like a tag with washi tape as a topper and cut like the top of the tag off and then she topped it with some fabric ribbon up there. And then a cute little washi here. 
sweet little vintage lined paper coloring page with butterflies and then a sweet little embellishment here. This is the center of her signature, and I love how she put the lace down the center. You have some lined paper here. It's like a cream color. Look at this cute little pocket that she's collaged on, and then she's got a couple of little, um, little, pretty little playing cards. Look how stinking cute they are. I love those. And then fun with Dick and Jane. That's the back of that Dick and Jane. Um, page beautiful coffee dyeing on her doily that's just a gorgeous doily there's some vellum here's the other side of that Winnie the Pooh book page and a sweet little pocket here with the lace topping it and then a gorgeous little tag that she's made here with a little butterfly collage it says wish pretty little topper with a flower there and on the back it has pockets, a couple of little pockets. So a sweet little embellishment in that little bottom pocket and then a couple of little embellishments in the top pocket as well. Look at that cute little tag. He just looks so relaxed, doesn't he? <laughs> and I love the paper that she put it on. Sweet little tag, I love that. And I absolutely love this tag, you guys look. Not tag, pocket. Look what she did. She stitched, like she quilted, she made like a quilted out of paper and stitched it like a quilt and then topped it with this um, little teeny tiny um, puffy trim. And then she's got these little, I love this so much. That pocket is just absolutely adorable. And then inside the pocket, you have a tag with a little butterfly and a sweet little journal card with some glitter. Some washi here on lined paper. Here's another book page collage. I absolutely love this with the floral. And then she put a little butterfly there. And look at this gorgeous lace she has on the edge here with a beautiful little beaded dangle. Gorgeous, gorgeous little dangles, Chandra. I love this paper that she used. And I love that she's added just little touches of washi sweet little collage pocket here with a little journaling card in it she's got some stamping up at the top i love the little birdhouse stamp and then she's collaged a piece here onto the back of this calendar look at this gorgeous gorgeous ruffle i love this fabric it's beautiful that is the end of the first signature look how pretty that paper is and then she's got a little collage here or actually yeah it's a little collage but it's a tuck with some sweet let me just hold it up where you can see. Sweet little lace pieces and some eyelash trim and that pretty little flower cabochon. She's got lace on the edge of the page here and then a pretty little dangle hanging from the lace and then just a sweet little piece of a book page tucked in. I love this. A little bitty tiny book page. We all love our little tiny book pages, don't we? And then here, she's stapled on some pretty, pretty stationery and taped across it so that the staple is not rough. And it's a little tip in. And I absolutely love this textured paper that she's added to the back of this page here. It's gorgeous. Pretty little fabric pocket. This is adorable, you guys. I'm going to show you. So she's put the, um, she's made the pocket out of this little piece of music paper. And then she's made a little fabric pocket and she's just tucked you some sweet little tickets and look at the detail. She even lined the pages or line, put lines on the back of the tickets for you to journal on. But look, I was going to show you too. This can be a pocket here too. So stinking cute. And I love the way she put the little ribbon topper at the top like it's a tag. And then she's tucked in some sweet little ephemera pieces for you or just this piece. This is actually attached. I love the way she put the little fabric piece there. And I love the cursive writing on this tag. Sweet little collaging over here. And this is actually a pocket. So you can tuck something down in there. Pretty music paper. And she's got washi here. Lace down the side here on both sides with some stamping. 
some lined paper, sweet little envelope pocket here, and inside the pocket, she's tucked the cutest little book, and it's got the little dangles at the bottom. Hopefully you can see those okay. And then she's made a little pocket on the inside of the book with a little journaling card. And then she's just put lined paper. I love this. It's so stinking cute. And then you have a little pocket in the back as well. It's adorable. So that just slides right back into the pocket or the envelope. And then I'm not sure if this is stuck. I think this is stuck together, but I'm not going to pull it. I'm going to wait for whoever gets it to be able to pull it off because she's got this cute little tag tucked into it. So I'm not sure if she's meant for this to stay here as a pocket. So I'm going to let you decide when you get the journal. But look at this sweet little, just a little collage tag that she's topped with lace and some pretty little collaged paper. I love that. That's adorable. And then I love, love this fabric that she's ruffled on the edge here. So pretty. Sweet little pocket here. And this is actually a fabric. I, I think this is some of that vintage fabric ribbon. And she's topped it on top of some paper and then put lace down through here. And then you have this sweet little journaling card. It's on, um, I think that's an index card. And she's made like a little tip in with the receipt. So stinking cute. And then she has this gorgeous little tag here. Look how pretty that is. And she's topped it with a little bling and some of that pretty little lace. Stamping on some music paper. And then here's another one of those collage pages. I love this so much. I am so into the collaging. Look how pretty that is. Sweet little recipe page here. And then here is a pocket. And she's got some little ephemera pieces down in the pocket for you. Look at this gorgeous paper. Hopefully you can see that it's shimmery. Let me see if I can hold it up so you can see it a little better. Can you see the shimmery on there? And then she's got this beautiful um, lace on the edge with this pretty amber um, dangle. Pretty, pretty little pocket here that she's punched the edge of so you can tuck something in. Gorgeous little bird sticker on some vellum. And then I think this is the center. Yeah, this is the center of the signature. And I love how she collaged on her doily. Your coffee dine on your doilies are absolutely, it's absolutely beautiful. But she stitched this sweet little collage here on top of the doily. And then here, she's put a pretty little fabric flower. I love, love, love this little flower. And then she made a belly band inside the doily and put this so cute little, um, little calendar, calendar. And it's actually for 2019. And she's got washi tape at the top. So I think that is just so cute. Oops. There we go. And then you have the vellum here. Another little pocket here. Gorgeous little pocket with punching. And then you have this bag here that she's collaged some um, napkin on. Or decoupage some napkin on. And then this cute little collage tag here. How stinking cute is that with that vintage picture on it. Hopefully you can see that okay. There's the other side of that collage page. I absolutely love this so much. Music paper with some stamping and then here she has this pretty little belly band and tucked inside you have a sweet little card with a little bunny and a flower. It's blank for journaling and then this is really cute. I love how she did this. She's got washi tape down the spine, but she's made a little booklet out of the um, children's book page. How stinking cute is that? And oh, I love, love the stamping in there. Do you guys see that? Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. That is so creative. You did such a good job on that, Chandra. Chandra. I don't know. You have to tell me if I'm saying your name wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sweet little ruffle down the edge here that she's sewn on. Oops. And then this is tucked into here. It's like a little envelope pocket. And she's embellished the little tip of the envelope with some of that pretty lace and a little flat back cabochon. So that's just a blank little card for extra journaling. Lines paper. Sweet little pocket here that she's tucked some little pieces of ephemera in. 
and topped with the sweet, pretty little lace. The same lace that she's got on the edge of the page here. Some stamping here. There's another one of those quilted pockets that I'm absolutely in love with. And I love, love, love this. Look, she's got some little ephemera in here. And then look at how sweet that is. That is so stinking ador adorable. I'm inspired. And I think I want to make some of these because those are so stinking cute. Just a sweet little collage there. Wouldn't that be adorable if you just kind of put it on the edge of the page? You can use it as a tuck or a pocket. Lots of different things you can do with that little sweet goodie. And here she has an envelope that she's actually sewn to the page. And then inside, she's glued in some, um, uh, like a vintage, no, it's not glued in, it's just tucked in, a little vintage hymnal. And then inside the envelope pocket, she's tucked a sweet little tag, collage tag. I love that. Oh, it's a booklet. Look, it opens up. How stinking cute. And then she has some of those little calendar pages in there. But you can write on them a sweet little journaling card. I love that. Oh, and she's got some more of these little calendar pages in here. Look at how cute she put the rest of 2019 in there for you if you wanted to use those. Those would be cute in collages too. And then she stamped the um, envelope flap on this side. I love this paper that she's used. And then look at this gorgeous little collage she has here. So this is the back of the book. And look at this sweet little collage. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And then she's got that beautiful lace. And I love the scalloped edging. So that is the end of the journal. This one is called Bloom. So if you love this as much as I do, run over to Facebook and grab it while you can. Because I think this one's going to go really fast. Oh, and also, I was going to let you know, she has a little goodie bag that comes along with the journal. That's got some little tags in there and some laces and some ribbons. So I'm not going to take all of this out. I'll let you be surprised when you get it. But there's your little goodie bag that goes with the journal. So don't forget to like and subscribe um, to the video. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload more videos. And leave Chandra some love in the comments. Leave me any questions or comments that you have below as well. And thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Big hugs.